Okay, you've gone to school, you've picked up your child's Chromebook, and you need to try to uh, start using it, and you're a little confused. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to go through the steps to get the Chromebook attached to your Wi-Fi network. And then we're going to look at uh, how to get into Google Classroom. So I've got a Chromebook here. It's one from school. Um, I'm going to just set it here on my table. I'm going to open it up. You may want to charge it. Don't know these have been sitting for a while. And so it may need to be charged. But you could use it plugged in also. So I'm going to turn it on. On off switch on this particular Chromebook is right here. Over in that corner. The kids have been using these so they shouldn't have any problem with that. Okay. Now you're going to need to hook it up to your Wi-Fi. Over in here. There's, it says there are uh, network not available, and it lists a whole bunch of networks that are available in my uh, in my neighborhood. So I have to find the one that is that I'm going to use. Perhaps that's a Wi-Fi uh, router that you have at your house. Uh, perhaps you're using your phone as a hotspot. Whatever you're going to use for your uh, internet access, you have to find that one. And in this case, it's this one right here. So I click on it. And this box comes up and it asks me to put in a password. Okay, that's the password that I use to connect to the internet. It'll be different for everybody. So I will have to use the one that I use at my home. Okay, I've gone ahead and put that in and I'm going to click connect. Okay. This takes a moment. My experience has been that sometimes I need to hit this back button, but let's wait just a second and see. This happens to be just something with my network. You may or may not need to do that. If you come down here and you go in this corner, it says that it's connected, and it is connected to the network that I picked. So in this case, I'm going to hit the back button. You may or may not need to do that. Oops. And there. It opens up, and it says sign into your Chromebook. This is a school Chromebook, so it automatically comes up to this screen, and it has a blank area, and it says at students.hamtramicschools.org. Now, please be aware that you'll only be able to sign into this with a school Google account. So you'll use your, your child, or the, if you're the student, you'll use your 700 number. I'm going to log in with just a test student account that I have, so I'm going to put it in here. Okay. There's no need for me to put the ads, anything after the at sign. It automatically does it for us. And I'm going to hit next, just like we've done at school. And now it's asking me for my password. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my password, which you should know. It's the same password you've been using all through the school year. And I'm going to hit next. I am now logged into this Chromebook. I'm now logged into this Chromebook. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause this video. I'm going to pause this video because it's very difficult to see what's going on on the screen of this, vi on this, this screen using the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to remote into this Chromebook and then you'll be able to see on my computer screen, which will be much clearer, what um, it's looking like for you when you look at the Chromebook at home. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm back. Once again, we have opened up the Chromebook. We have found the network at our house, whether that be um, from the cable company, uh, the phone company, a hotspot on our cell phone, whatever method we're using to connect to the internet, we found that Wi-Fi and we have joined that Wi-Fi. We've used the uh, password that uh, was created for it. It'll be different for everybody. Um, you have logged in. You've used your 700 student number um, at, ham, at students.hamtramicschools.org. You shouldn't have to type that part in. And you used your same password that you've used the entire school year. So now we're logged into the Chromebook. And I, like I said, I'm remoting into that Chromebook on my computer here. So it's much easier to see. 
So I'm looking at this screen. It may look a little bit different for you because it's kept information about you throughout the year and your background may look a little different, but I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Chrome browser. Okay, I've opened up my Chrome browser and up in here, if I go right here, it says that I'm in a Google account. It's an HVS student account. Um, and I can tell that because it says, uh, has the, the, my name, it would be your name, and it's, uh, it would have your 700 number at students.hamtramicschools.org. Also, over here on the left, you'll see now this happens to be a high school student account. So on the left, it's showing uh, the bookmarks that have been saved for all the high school students. If I click this drop down right here, there's all these are bookmarks that are saved for the high school students. Now, if you're logged in and you're a Dickinson West student, over there it will say Dickinson West bookmarks. If you're a Dickinson East student, it will say Dickinson East bookmarks. And they've been developed for your particular building. Everyone will have one for Google Classroom. So that's what we're going to want to go into. We want to go into Google Classroom. We have two different ways we can get into Google, or actually three different ways we can get into Google Classroom. We can type Classroom. Dot Google. Dot com. And hit enter. And it will take us there. If I go back, I'm going to go back. The other way we can get there, we can click the little waffles here, the nine dots. We can find Google Classroom over here. We can click on Google Classroom. It'll take us the same place. I'm going to go back to the home page one more time. And finally, the third way, all of them work exactly the same way. If I click on the bookmarks and I go down here and I select Classroom. Now, this is the first time I have signed in with this Google account. Um, and I don't have, and I, and I, but this is the first time I've signed in with this Google account, and I do not have any classes yet. I have not been assigned any classes yet. I have not joined any classes yet. Okay? You may already have a class in here when you go to Classroom because you've used Classroom earlier in the year. But if you have not used Classroom yet, you have to join a class. Okay? You have to join a class. So to join a class, the first thing you're going to do is press, press this plus mark. And you have an option. You can join a class or you can create a class. You want to join a class. And this button, this pops up and it asks you for your class code. I want to show you one thing before we do this, before we put in the class code. If this is the very, very, very first time you've tried going into a Google Classroom, you're going to get this first. All this is doing is this is verifying your identity. It will have your name right here. I don't remember which building this student is from, but this is one of the Hamtramck students. It will have your name here, and it will have your 700 number. All you do, as long as that's correct, click on Next. If that's incorrect, if that's not your information, then click this drop-down, this little arrow right here. Now, this is just a picture, so I can't do it. Click this little drop down, it'll tell you to do another account. But if you're using a school Chromebook and you've logged in with your school account, which is the only thing you can do, unless it's one of your brother's or sister's accounts, your name will show up here. So after you hit continue, go ahead and this screen will show up. This screen will show up and you're going to select I'm a student. You're going to select I'm a student. After you do that, after you do that, you will see this screen right here, okay? You'll see this screen right here, all right? Now, your teacher will have provided you with a code on how to join, a uh, code to join the class. Your teacher will have provided you a code to join the class. I'm not 100% sure what method the teacher will have used. They may have sent an email to your parents. They may have used Class Dojo. They may have sent you something in the mail. But somehow, your teacher will have shared a code with you for how to join your class. Or they will have already sent an email to your email account, and it'll show up here that you have a class waiting to join. I can do that in a minute, but let's go ahead, and I'll show you that in a couple of minutes. But let's go ahead and join a class. So what I'm going to do is I click the plus mark, 
and I click join class. Right there, this comes up. Now, one of the teachers earlier today sent me the code for a class that she's already set up. So I just type that in and I click join. It takes a moment. I am now in Miss Maloney's class at Dickinson East Elementary. I can see that she's got some assignments for me to work on, some upcoming information in here. She sent a little message this morning saying hello. Um, and we are ready to start doing her classwork. If I go here to classwork, I can see my assignments for this week, my assignments from last week. I can go here to people. I can see the other students in the class. I can also see uh, the other teachers that are going to be helping with this class. So it's that simple. I'm going to go back here to stream. Now, if you have more than one class, uh, I will show you how they show up. If I click here and I go to classes, right now I only have Miss Maloney's class. I only have Miss Maloney's class. Let me pause this video for one more minute and I'm going to send an email to this student asking them to join another class just so you'll see how you would join a class if instead of using the class code, the teacher used a email to send you a message. So let me pause this. Okay, we're back. I have gone in as a teacher and I have invited uh, you to this student to join a Google Classroom, but instead of using the class code, which I think most of the teachers will use a class code, but some may elect to use email. So in this case, I have sent this student an email message asking them to join the class. There is no need to open up email and find that message. After that's been done, there will this will show up in the classroom. So now in this case, I joined Miss Maloney's class a little while ago. Now I've also got a request to join this class here called test class. I have a choice. I can decline or I can go ahead and join the class. The teachers asked me to join. So I would go ahead and I would want to click join class. And now I'm enrolled in two classes. I'm enrolled in test class. If I click right here and go back to classes, I'm also enrolled in Miss Maloney's class. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to go back to the home page. So I'm going back here. Once again, we're going to look at we're going to go into Google uh, Classroom. I'm going to click here. I'm going to go down to Google Classroom. This is the menu bar. Probably the easiest way to do it. I'm going to go to Google Classroom. It now opens up. I've already put in that code that uh, Miss Maloney provided me and joined her class. I got an invitation to join this class, and now perhaps I need to join a third class. Once again, I, I'm just going to show you the steps. I'm not going to do it, but if someone told me to join their class, I would come over here, hit the plus mark, click join class. I would type in the code. I don't have a code for another class, so I'm just going to cancel that. If another teacher sent me an email asking me to join a class, it would show up and I would have an option to join that class or decline. And I would go ahead and join that class. So once again, when you're all done, all you need to do is close the lid on your Chromebook. You'll be signed out. Um, I'm going to go back. I'm going to close. I'm going to just go back to the home. Okay. And I'm here. Once again, you know you're logged into your school Google account when you hover over the letter and your name will show up. Okay, if you want to go to your Google Classroom, waffles, one way, shortcut, another way, or up in the menu bar, type classroom.google.com. So those are the three ways to get into class. Once you're in the class, pick the class you need to go into. I'm going to go to this one. I'm going to go to classwork. And I can pick the assignment that I want to work on. I can click on here and do whatever the teacher has assigned me to do. Okay, so that's pretty simple, pretty basically what we need to do. Um, once again, remember that when you first open up the Chromebook, you'll have to join to the Wi-Fi you're going to be using. 
Uh, once you've joined to it once, you probably won't have to join to it a second time the next time you use the Chromebook. But if you do, or you move to a different location, just remember you're going to need that password. You're going to have to click, select that Wi-Fi. You're going to have to use your 700 number. If you try using a non-school Google account on one of the school Chromebooks, it will not work. So just be aware of that. And good luck, and thank you for your time and patience.